So we're we're out again. Um, I'm just gonna give you a little look around. We're on our way to uh, uh, for for camping this weekend. I want to make this video about camping. Um, I and I I just drove past this really nice area. I wanted to get a do the do the uh, opening part of the video right here. So I'm just gonna give you a look around. Looks like it's a little, uh, almost turning into a lake. Um, it's not really a lake, but it's more like a beaver pond or kind of like a lake. Then on this side over here, I think what I want to do is I want to try to climb on these rocks over here and go on this side of the pond. The truck's parked right up there. We're going to head up the road a little more. Um, we're quite a ways from home. But I just wanted to uh, come this way and uh, take a look up on the rocks here. see what's on this side. Oh, it just looks like a... little creaky area. Yeah, not really a whole lot, but it's pretty cool. Yeah, another little pond area over there. If you can see that. Yeah. So this will be our first camping expedition. We're way north of Fort Francis right now. Uh, quite a ways north. Look at these are blueberries. These are actually blueberry bushes. <clears throat> Hopefully we, with all this rain we'll get some good blueberries. Yeah, they're already starting. Look at that. Those are the beginning of blueberries right there. The little flowers. Isn't that awesome? They'll turn into bare blueberries after. <coughs> There's the view from up here, up on the rock. Okay, so... Yeah, we're going to head up the road and find a, <clears throat> a nice lake to go to and then uh, set up a campsite for maybe for a day or two, a couple days. We'll see. I did bring quite a bit of stuff for camping. So this video is going to be mainly about camping. So I'm not going to talk about the lake I'm going to, but I am going to go on the lake and do some fishing. I did bring the boat. So talk to you in a bit. As you can see, the truck is right behind me. Um, I'm, we're right between two different lakes. Um, one is over on this side over here, and one is right behind me here, right back there. And uh, I'm in a tough decision right now because I've never fished in this lake behind me here. Here, let me. I've never fished in this lake behind me here, but I have fished in this other one. So I'm kind of torn between two places I want to go to. Um, because the high water right now, we have access to this lake. Uh, normally you'd have to drag the, drag the boat or canoe or whatever all the way over there, but we're right on the road here, so. It would be so easy to put the boat in right here and just go there. I think... Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But I also want to go in that other lake over there too. 
Maybe I'll have to do one day on this lake and one day on the other lake. I don't know. <clears throat> just hold on. I'll, I'm going to walk past the truck here. The truck is just beyond the road there. About 150 yards. So I'm going to take you down to the lake here. So this is another lake right here. Take you down there. <clears throat> Somebody's boat is here. Ta-da! So that's the lake. I just got to decide what I'm going to do. Whether I'm going to come on this lake first or that lake over there. It's about a hundred. It's about a, I'd have to drag the boat about a hundred yards. Maybe a hundred and fifty yards. Probably a hundred yards, 150 yards to the road, <clears throat> which is not hard as long as I take my time. Then I have to haul everything, portage everything through the trail. But the easier way would be go, to go to the other lake. I think that's what we'll do. Um, we'll go check out the smaller lake first today and then if it's not good if it's not good we'll go to the other lake we'll go to this lake down here the bigger lake okay that's the plan okay guys I just parked the truck up there um, we're gonna go into this little lake I got the I just put the boat in here. I didn't take all the camping gear in and everything yet, but I just put the boat in and I'm going to go scout this lake out right back there. I'm going to go see what kind of fish is in here. Also, I'm going to look for a campsite. If it's a nice lake to camp on, I might camp there if I can find a nice place to camp. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, we're going to probably go to that bigger lake back here, but this is a smaller lake here. Um, yeah, so... Uh, see you out on the lake. Okay, so we're we just got on the lake and uh, so nice out here today. I forgot my batteries for the hummingbird, so I have no idea how deep the water is. I forgot the batteries that I bring. Um, we may use a battery pack after when I go back to the truck I'll bring the battery pack but uh, so far it's not that really that big of a lake that's the extent of the lake over there it'll probably take me about a about three hours to fish this whole lake just to go around the whole lake <clears throat> it's not that big so far we haven't caught anything and I'm just kind of looking for a campsite or someplace I can catch a set of tent or something and if we don't find one here I'll probably move into the bigger lake there's probably more uh, places I could set up over there and if worse comes to worse we could always set up right on the road on side of the road so uh, yeah Welcome to my adventure. <laughs> the beginning anyway. Camping. Set up a tent and spend the night. And I'm hoping that we can uh, get a, a night where it's really super, super calm. And I did bring the drone and the 
I don't want to play with the drone this weekend. Um, yeah, I'm hoping to get a nice, a nice area to camp and then try to uh, set up, set up a nice campsite. I'm just trying to figure out what kind of fish are in this lake. Uh, so far, I haven't caught anything, but I'll, I'll turn the camera on if, uh, if, uh, if I do catch a fish, so so that you won't miss anything. Even if it's a northern, I'll turn it on. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea how deep the lake is either, so I'll have to stop and check every once in a while. Maybe that's what I'll do right now. Alrighty, talk to you in a bit. Hey guys, I wanted to show you our first fish of the day. <clears throat> it's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, let me just switch the camera over. I'm using the phone right now, so. There is what we call our first trout. There's trout in this little lake. Awesome. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, got a piece of garbage on him now. But there he is. First trout. Say goodbye. So now we know what's in this lake. It's only about a mile that way and yeah it's only about a mile maybe a half a mile wide and a mile long but uh, there's trout in this lake didn't take me very long to catch trout I was only out here for 10 minutes so we will try a couple more a couple more and then uh, see what what's going on talk to you in a bit Okay, so we know there are bass in this lake too. So that's what's in this lake, bass and trout so far. Goodbye little fish. So it's now around noon. And, uh, I only caught two fish so far. Um, I went from one end of the lake to the other end. I don't have my uh, fish finder with me. So I think, and the wind is starting to pick up now. So I think what I want to do is I, would, I think we'll go into that other lake. Well, I've got a lot, a lot of time. I, I didn't see any really good campsite here where I can make a campsite, a, a flat place. So we're going to go into that other lake. This is kind of a small lake anyway, so I don't really want to camp here at this lake because it's, it's kind of just a little too small. So that's what we're going to kind of do. Yeah. But we know that there's trout and there's bass in here. Um, using just the camera right now and I think what I want to do is I want to set up the cameras and all that kind of stuff today too so um, yeah I think we'll just head back to that landing and uh, we'll ditch this lake it's a nice little lake it's not worth camping on but uh, we know that you probably catch a few, a few trout in here little lake though. All right, I'll catch you up with you in a minute or two.
made it all the way through. Almost made it all the way through. <laughs> That way, go in reverse, I guess. That way, I can see where I'm going. Way over there is a the landing, the road. The road is right over there. Just got to back into. shallow here so uh, this should be a good place to turn around That is the road right there. Oh, there's the truck. So we went into that lake right there. Um, we're not going to stay in that lake, but uh, we're going to go up to the one just past the truck there. And uh, so I'm going to spend a couple hours uh, hauling uh, the boat and motor and everything back to that other site, that other uh, lake. So I'm going to shut you off for a while till I get, uh, get uh, organized, I guess. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so, got everything we need. It's a lot of work. So, we're gonna head back down the trail, then I have to go and park the truck. So, I just got, Just got our sleeping bag here, the last thing. And then come back and park the truck. So from huffing and puffing it's from running up and down this trail with all the gear. <clears throat> I dragged the uh, boat back here. It's not exactly rough terrain. Well it is rough terrain, but it's it's uh it's only about a hundred and fifty Maybe a hundred yards to the lake. Yeah, there's the lake already. So I still gotta put everything in the boat and everything get organized down here. But I got <coughs> everything down here that I need. And I did I did bring a lot of stuff. So we're gonna be busy here for a few minutes. Then hopefully we can go find an island out there and uh yeah, find an island and find a campsite. That's the next job. Okay, I'm gonna go park the truck and we'll be back in a few minutes.
little island. I wonder if there's a place to camp there. There's probably a place to camp there and set up a tent. On the other side. <laughs> Whoa! Didn't see that guy. <laughs> I was too busy looking at the camera. We didn't hit it though. Oh, look at this. I bet you there's a place to camp on this island. I just gotta find a spot. some rocks but I didn't hit any. I think I'm gonna try right I'm gonna try to get on that that rock right there. Right on that rock right there and I'm gonna go look around. I want to be out of the wind a little bit. Okay, I gotta shut you off for a bit. Okay, we are on the east side of the island that we checked out. The boat is right here. All the gear is here. This would be the east side. This is where the side where the sun's gonna come up. And if we turn around, climb up the hill, I found a spot where we can put a tent is right in front of us here. I'm going to put a tent right here. I cleaned off this tree. So, and then if we keep going down this hill, down this way, we can go to the west side of the island. This is the side that the wind is on right now, so I'm <clears throat> I'm kind of allergic to wind. It, it just just irritates me and bugs me. So I don't like being out in the wind and I don't like being um, in the wind too much. But I just wanted to give you a, a look around on this part of the island. So that's where the sun is going to come up right over there. No, the sun's going to set on this side. Yeah, that's right. It's going to set on this side. So I'm going to take you over here. Oh yeah, that's where I'm going to sit and have a cup of coffee too. My chair is already set up. So I want to take you over on this side. There. That's the where we came from right there. And we came around this, this way. We came this way. We went around the island. We went around to the to the other side of the island over there. So that's where we're at. So I'll turn the camera back on after we're all set up and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like when it's all set up. But this is gonna be awesome. This is a cool lake. Awesome, man. Okay, so. I'm just going to start hauling stuff up. I'm going to set up the tent right here and just haul some stuff up and then uh, we'll just go from there.
And here is my sleeping quarters. Right there. It's gonna be a little bit rough, but that's okay. And maybe I'll turn the camera a little more this way. Be a little bit rough, but that's okay. I've been rough. I've been rough camping all, all the time. the first time I am camping this year so I don't remember how to do things just because I don't my memory is going crazy I'm oh, just kidding here the black things This is a all season tent. You can actually take this tent um, in the winter, in the snow. So, <clears throat> pretty good tent. I've only used it a, a few times so far.
don't know if you can still see everything. So right now we are at, I would say roughly around 70, 72, 72 degrees Fahrenheit. So let me keep that in there. I'll probably make a fire with this sometime. It's, this is a fire stick. I'll probably, I'll probably make a fire with that this weekend sometime. Let's carry a little flashlight. Matches. Pocket knife. And a really old flint stick that it's still still old I guess maybe it's almost time to retire that one that's pretty much all that's in there I can get it all back in here now I carry that this here one with me when I go hunting, when I go canoeing, different things. It's just nice to have. Just as a safety precaution. rain jacket type of thingies. I got my rain gear with me so I probably won't use that. And this one's just uh, it's got a few band-aids and stuff like that in here. I got it, I actually got a first aid cream and stuff like that. So that's what that is. Carry my knife with me. An extra flashlight and clippers for when I'm out fishing. Carry this knife with me. set up. I'm just going to shut you off for a bit. Okay, so <clears throat> just down at the boat here. See the boat back there? Okay, so I uh, I just wanted to show you around a little bit now that we're all set up. Well, we're not totally set up, but set up enough to uh, to go fishing or something. So, okay, so what I got is I got the tent all set up. Oh, 
that's basically what it is. Tent, pillow, extra clothes, jacket. Pretty simple. And once I set up that, I put a tarp over over top just so that well just in case it rains I don't trust the weatherman <laughs> especially these days it never goes more than a day or two without raining um, yeah so I put a tarp over top I'll show you how I did that too so what I did was I tied a tied it right to there run the line this is what I did you can see that then I just tied it off the four corners yeah see how that's done and then I just tied it off to the trees in four corners <clears throat> so that's that part um, I'm not really worried about bears or animals or anything like that bothering us, so I don't think I need any um, anything else. The only thing I do worry about is uh, if I make a fire, it has to be out of the wind. Um, and this is where I wanted this is where I wanted to make the fire someplace on this side here. But because we're on the wind on this side, I don't, I don't really like to make a fire on this side. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Okay, so I just love that little rock island there. And I just figured out a way to get across here. If I step on this rock here, take another step here. Just jump across here. I can get out to Rock Island here. Cool. And the reason why I like this place is because it's nice and flat. It's got a few rocks here. And um, it's kind of away from the, the main island. And I could probably actually hang out here and make a fire here and everything like that and I don't have to worry about setting the forest on fire or setting the island on fire or anything like that so that's Rock Island and I'm thinking about making a camp or a, a hangout place right here on Rock Island Little Rock Island that's what this is called that's what I named it <clears throat> So this is Little Rock Island. So I'm gonna go grab the chair. I'm gonna sit out here for a bit. Take a jump across. Boom, like that. Leave that here. Okay. Again, whoops, sorry, <laughs> just flip, flip the around real bad. Sorry about that. Trying to carry something and do the camera at the same time, it's kind of crazy. So, so, there's where I put my foot right there on this little rock, and I just jump across here. This is cool. So this is Little Rock Island. It's only about 10 feet by, probably about 10 by 10, 10 by 8, 10 by 10. But it's pretty cool. So I can sit back here. I could bring a fishing rod here. Sit back, relax, enjoy the lake. Nice out here. So this is what I'm gonna call Little Rock Island, right here.
will be my home be my home for the next couple days so I think I'll make a fire there too and all I have to do is just bring a few just enough to make make a small fire and I'll arrange these rocks so that they're a fire pit yeah sounds like a plan eh I'm hoping that tonight it calms right down and I want to go out fishing tonight um, once I open up the minnows they got to last two days so I got to keep them um, full of water like I got to change the water every couple hours or something like that because of the I want to keep them alive <clears throat> so once I once I open up the bag of minnows I gotta kind of either gotta use them or keep them uh, fresh try to keep them fresh so I'm hoping that the wind dies down a little bit so that we can go out. I'm not really crazy about fishing in the afternoon because of the it's kind of a dead time for fishing. Maybe not here, I have no idea. But you can go out fishing all afternoon and not catch nothing. And then as soon as uh, 5 o'clock rolls around the fish are just biting like crazy. So, And also the wind dies down a little bit towards the evening. The best time to go fishing is probably in early in the morning, like eight o'clock, eight till ten ish, nine seven till ten ish, and then seven at night till nine or five at five or six or something like that. But in the afternoon the wind picks up all the time and it gets a little bit windy. It's not real windy windy right now, but it's just enough to be annoying. It's enough to blow the boat around. I just love it when it's just calm and perfect. Like, just it, to me, that's just the most serene thing you can get. Is like a real, real calm, calm day. But uh, we are gonna go exploring the lake, and I have no idea what kind of fish are in this lake. The last lake we caught a trout and a bass. And I was only out fishing for like 45 minutes. <clears throat> I mostly just kind of went around the lake, that little lake. I went around that lake looking for a campsite to see if there was something I can use for a campsite, but no luck. So I chose this little island here in the other, the big lake. So this is a pretty big lake. It goes all the way down that way and goes all the way down that way. We're about halfway up the lake, so we still got another another uh, few more miles to go that way. And it's a few more miles back to the landing. So, uh, yeah. We'll go explore later. Okay, talk to you in a bit. Um, yeah, and <clears throat> Pretty cool I'm sitting out on Little Rock Island. That's that's what I called it. My Little Rock Island. Okay, so I just wanted to show you my saw. <clears throat> this is my saw. It's actually foldable. It's very sharp. Brand new. Haven't been used yet. That's the size of it right there. It's about a little bit bigger than my hand but we're gonna put it to use right now check that out Grab the axe. 
there we go so I'm just gonna cut up little pieces of wood like this just to make fire for supper I'm only gonna cut them about eight inches We don't need a big gigantic fire. Maybe tonight I might make a fire depending on the wind. But for supper, no. Trying to chop this stuff would be hard because it's so dry. There's all kinds of dry wood all over this island here. It's one of the reasons I like camping on an island. Usually they just got all kinds of dry wood all over the place. It's really easy to find. There, how about that? And then you just press this button, fold it down, and then just make sure your fingers are out of the way. Fold it up. Back in the case. Worth every dime. I think it was only like 15 bucks, but it's worth it. The other one I carry, this one's more for brushing and it's got a saw on it too. But this one's more for like when I did these trees. I just did all these trees, I just chopped them off. So that's what I use that for. And then you got your regular axe. Just a regular old rusty axe. It's been in the bottom of the boat quite a few times. So that's our firewood issue. So we'll bring that down to Little Rock Island. I'm gonna collect a little more too. Okay, so we just uh, left the island. Yeah, we just left the island. It's getting a little too windy on the island, so I can't make a fire. So I figured, well, let's go fishing. Let's let's go to the the west side of the lake, and then we'll just float back this way and try fishing for a couple hours or an hour or so. I'm hoping the wind will die down a little bit. Like it doesn't seem so windy right now, but it's just uh, I get up. Um, something with my eyes in the wind. If the wind starts getting my eyes, it just really irritates my eyes. So I gotta, I gotta wear sunglasses, and I gotta, I gotta. I don't really like wearing sunglasses, but I just don't like getting dust and stuff in my eyes. It just irritates my eyes. So <clears throat> I just decided to get off the island for a little while. It's kind of windy on the island. I think we'll call that Windy Island. So <clears throat> we're gonna head out to the other side of the lake. 
Um, I am charging my my battery in my phone right now. So, um, yeah, we'll just head out to the other side, of the other side, and try fishing for a little bit. Turn you on in a bit. I just want to get off the island for a while. Just, I just don't like being in the wind too long. It's kind of annoying for me. It's nice out here. This is a pretty cool lake. The wind's just going to blow us around all over the place and I'm just going to cast around. We're kind of in a little bay right now. I have no idea what kind of fish are in here. Never caught a fish in this lake yet. If we get too close to shore, I'll start up the motor and bring us back out. <coughs> so, I'm hoping that the wind's gonna die down a little bit tonight by five, six o'clock. start a fire, make some supper. I'm not hungry right now. Oh, I forgot water. I should have put a, I'll have to leave water in the, in the boat here. brought the ugly stick with with me this time the bigger heavier rod <coughs> I usually use the lighter rod but I decided to bring this one
floating around all over the place. Wind is going to decide which way it wants to go. Day one, and it is now 3:47 in the afternoon. us around in a circle sometimes. <laughs> That's all right. So I cast out in the deep water. Okay. See what happens. on guys. Oh, it's going to be a bass. It already splashed on the water. If it acts like a bass, it's going to be a bass. like a bass, it's going to be a bass. Bass usually come to the surface really fast. guys in the bathroom I hope would be the same. I hope that one! Yep. Go 
was in a bass tournament, I'd be a champion fish here. Let's see if I can show you how big he is. Ah. Let me see. What the hell can I compare him to? Look at the size of that monster. I didn't bring anything to weigh him with. But he's a big monster. Say goodbye, big monster. There he goes. Acts like a bass. He's going to be a bass. cream I can. Thank you for these. I spent so much money on my stupid uh, uh, minnow buckets and stuff like that. Okay, I got some water going going so we can make some tea. Right here I got a package of moose burger. Package of moose burger. And uh, I'm going to fry that up. I just gotta finish using up all this moose meat I have. So <coughs> I'm eating moose meat quite a bit lately. Forgot the spatula, and I also forgot the batteries for the hummingbird, the um, depth finder in the boat. So those are my two two things I did wrong today. It's still kind of frozen. At least I could have left this for one more night.
So you might be wondering what I'm cooking the hamburger or the boost burger for. I'll show you in just a minute. I brought, I brought a loaf of bread with me. And I brought a can opener. I'm glad the wind died down a little bit. Feel a little more comfortable <coughs> with the fire now. Build up the fire again. This should be thawed out by now. But I took it out of the freezer this morning. So and then I put it in a cooler kind of bag, which I'll show you. But it's okay if we cook slow. It's actually better if we cook slow. That way nothing burns. So what's on tonight's menu is called Manwich. <laughs> Simple and easy. Sandwich, sandwich. Nice little fire. much oil in this moose meat. It's pretty lean. So it didn't add very much fat to it. Frozen, frozen, hard, solid. It's like a pound and a half of meat here. 
Think I could eat a pound and a half of meat? I doubt it. I have to save some for tomorrow, I guess. But I never ate all day, so since breakfast. <clears throat> Haven't ate anything all day since breakfast, so. Let that cook for a minute or two. I'm gonna open up the can. Don't worry about the garbage. I got a garbage bag. I'll clean up my site and everything like that. Pretty good that way. you can see everything. I don't know if that rock is in the way or not. Maybe I should move you this way a little closer. It's going to boil quickly when it, the, way, the wind goes that way. So this is my idea of rough camping. We haven't uh, had much luck fishing today. I only caught a only thing I caught today was bass. I didn't catch any other other fish other than bass. I think I caught about three bass today. <clears throat> well, except in the other lake. I did catch a trout and, and bass in the other lake. But this lake here, I don't know what's in it. I was looking around and I was looking for spawning beds for northerns and there doesn't seem to be any spawning beds any any uh, shallows where they spawn so I don't think there's any northerns in this lake at all it's probably a trout lake a dead trout lake or or it might be a, just populated with bass a lot of bass Not quite done yet, but it's 
getting there. A man wedge sandwich. That's what's for supper tonight. Got a little bit of pink left in the meat. Just gonna cook her down. Man, which sandwich. So what did you learn today? I bet you learned if it acts like a bass, it's probably a bass. You know what bass act like? <clears throat> they come to the surface and they jump out of the water right away. No matter if they're 25, 30 feet away from you, they'll come to the surface and jump out of the water. <laughs> so that's acting like a bass. So if it acts like a bass, comes to the surface and jumps out of the water, it's probably a bass. Sometimes a northern does that too once in a while. But most of the time it's a bass. And then they have really quick jerky, jerky tugs. Really fast jerky tugs. fire. Need a little bit of wind. Trying to figure out more ways of uh, eating moose meat. <laughs> so I decided to try sandwich tonight. Moose meat sandwich. That's almost done. Give it a just a little bit more. Yep. Hopefully my I should put my tea bag in now while I'm <clears throat> while I'm waiting on that to cook a little more. Quite done yet, but 
We'll put it on there after. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm almost ready to add the manwich sauce. Pack out all my garbage. No, this is not spaghetti, so we might have too much meat. <laughs> That's okay, though. In case you didn't notice, I'm not a very good cook, but out in the bush, having something like this out in the bush is pretty, pretty much a treat. I think I forgot a plate, so I'm gonna have to run and get a plate. Do you want to watch this for me? It just <laughs> I'm just gonna put this off to the side for a sec. I'm gonna run and get a plate.
Okay, just finished cooking. Keep on bubbling. Bubbling sounds good. I think we're pretty much done here for the, the manwich part. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to move that coffee over or tea. I don't think I brought any. <clears throat> Look this way. I'll leave it like that for now. Okay. Okay, there's my manhood sandwich. See that? No. Move this way. And I'm going to relax for a bit. Wait for my tea to cook. Yeah, I don't know if you can totally see me or not. Just up a little bit. There. Supper. That's good when you're hungry. That's good anytime. Should have brought me one water. Bugs are kind of bugging my head. <clears throat> I don't think my tea was going to take that long. Good stuff, eh? This is my first supper on Little Rock Island. Me and the bugs.
hope I'm recording. She almost fell over. I just tea. Oh, too bad. <clears throat> Can't point the uh, camera at the sun because it just messes up the, the picture. The sun looks really awesome right now. It's not quite calm, but it's calmed down quite a bit. So tomorrow night, we're going to have to catch fish because <clears throat> I only brought one meal. Well, I brought breakfast, but for supper, it's going to have to be fish. So I might have to go fishing in the morning. I don't mind eating bass, but I'd rather eat trout. Check on the tea. <clears throat> Not quite there yet. I have one more slice of bread. Another half a man which
hope I'm not making you hungry. If not, <clears throat> put it on pause and go to the fridge. That's what I do. Well, that pretty much concludes supper. I just got to clean up the mess now. It is eight o'clock. Eight o'clock at night. <clears throat> so I got about an hour and a half of daylight. I'll give you a quick look around before I shut you off. Well, I'm not shutting you off totally, but I'm going <clears> to <throat> shut you off for a few minutes. But that supper, I'll probably turn you back on when the sun comes out, comes out or the sunset starts to set.
That is a picture of the sunset. We'll leave it on for a few minutes. I'm just going to drink tea while I watch the sunset with you. Go grab your tea. <coughs> I'm just going to grab the fire here for a sec there before you run away on us. My little fire that I was cooking my supper on. My last little sticks of wood. After that goes out, I'll probably go to bed. <clears throat> Probably right about there. There you go. Enjoy. I'm just having my tea with me. The bugs aren't even that bad tonight either. So <clears throat> I thought the bugs are going to be horrible, but they're. There's actually like one or two of them. That's about it. I don't know if it's because of the fire or what, but they're not uh, bothering me. I think the pollen is more worse than the bugs. Oh, damn, that's good tea. <clears throat> She's almost down. Just within minutes, watch. Within five minutes, it'll be down. She's going down. Darn, I should have tried it on the other camera too. Tomorrow night, I'll try it on the other camera. That's the GoPro I'm using right now. Man, it just looks like a little fire right in the trees. Wow. <clears throat> Did you see that go down? It's going down just a little bit more. Pretty amazing, eh? This is peace and serenity right here. Those are words that people hardly ever get to use. Peace and serenity.
So. I'm just going to run up to the uh, campsite first. Gonna make sure I got a, <clears throat> a flashlight in my pocket, that's all. Just in case it starts to get dark fast. So after you're done your dishes, you always want to dry off your towel and your wash rag. The boat's put away and that's about it. The sun's gone down. I'm just going to go sit out on the rock and uh, drink tea. Maybe I'll leave the camera here. So I will wake you. I will <coughs> I'll probably see you in the morning. Good night.
Okay, so uh, we went out fishing for a few hours. Um, fishing on this lake is not really, really great. Let me just swing you around here. Yeah, fishing on this lake is not, look at my glasses. Fishing on this lake is not really great. <laughs> I went out for uh, about three hours and I went to the, the south side. Yeah, the south side. And uh, I tried trout fishing, but I just couldn't catch anything. So what I did was uh, I did find a place where we could catch a lot of bass. And I was catching a lot of bass. Um, the GoPro kind of died on us. So, oh, well, I didn't catch any or I didn't get anything on camera. <clears throat> but catching a bass is catching a bass. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready for supper. I'm going to switch you back. Okay, so what I got right here is uh, what we call minomen, wild rice. And what I'm going to do, that's the wild rice right there. I got two servings of wild rice. But that's enough for, uh, for me. And I'm just going to pre-soak it because <clears throat> I don't want to be boiling it it takes a while to cook wild rice and i don't want to be boiling it for 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 like half an hour or whatever so i'm going to pre-soak it i'm just going to fill it fill this up with water and just kind of pre-soak it yeah and then i'm just going to use this um, tin foil just to cover it up so the so the bugs don't get at it. So that's going to be like that. Okay. So that's going to be our rice. I already had potatoes this morning, so I wanted to have some rice. I had um, the hash brown potatoes. So... If I was fishing in a bass tournament, <clears throat> I would have been doing really, really good. Because look at the size of this bass that I got. And I caught like four of these kind. This thing's a monster. Oh. Chill out there, buddy. So look at the size of this thing. Look at the size of my fillet knife. The size of my hand. That thing is a monster. And I cut about four of them. So if I was in a bass tournament, I would have probably uh, did really good today in a bass tournament. <laughs> but I'm going to fillet him up. And then uh, once he's ready, I'll uh, get everything ready for supper. And I have to shut you off because this phone needs to be charged up. So that's what I'm going to do next is charge up this phone. Um, alrighty, so we'll head back up to the tent and charge up the phone. Talk to you in a minute. Okay, we're ready to uh, start supper. I just want to give you a look around and show you the weather right now. <clears throat> So this is what we're looking at right now. It's starting to get nice. It's starting to warm up. It is now 4.38 in the afternoon. But the one thing that has changed is the bugs have come out. So I don't know if you can see them way up in the air there, but they're they're buzzing around like there's about a thousand of them right there. I don't know if you can see them, but they're not bothering me, but they are out. So I'm going to start up the fire. I'm going to try to put the camera right about there. <clears throat> I'm hoping that... 
I'm still in the camera. I don't know. Maybe I better go over a little more. Okay, right about there. Okay, let's see if we can get this fire going. I've got a piece of cardboard here, so I'm going to use it. Of course, the wind doesn't want to be, want to be nice. paper it's gonna I'm gonna try something else. I don't know why, but this island just does not like me for starting fires. Everything is so dry, but at the same time, it's not. <clears throat> takes a little bit to get it going. Wind blows it. my fire out. never had such a difficult time of getting fire going in my life. It's easy. It's almost as hard as starting a fire in the rain. Jeez, it went out again. Mm. I'll try a piece of this. Get it going a little bit. Yeah, maybe I got it going now. I can let the wind get it.
Okay, I think we finally got a fire going. So the first thing I want to do, <coughs> we got the hot water ready to boil for tea. Took the coffee thing out. First thing I want to do is I want to cook the rice. maybe <coughs> the side where the wind is yeah that'll work so I'm gonna cook the rice first because when I do start the fish the fish cooks pretty fast it's like three minutes aside So the rice is going to take 15 minutes probably, 20 minutes. It's got to come to a boil then we just got to let it simmer around. <clears throat> I'll shut you off for a few minutes. <laughs> Maybe I better back up a little bit so I can get in the screen too. I have no idea how it looks on the camera, so... Okay, it is fish cooking time. We got our oil. I'm just going to preheat the oil. Don't need a whole lot. I have one fish to cook. We got our fish. And this says, it actually says fish crisp, but it's not fish crisp. It's my own little recipe. I'm just using the package. I tried this fish crisp and I didn't really like it. it kind of was flavorless, so I put my own spices in the in my fish. So and I don't really know what what I do. I don't really keep track of what I do. I just know that Turns out pretty good. So there's our mix. The fish. We want to build up the fire a little bit. Gotta wait a minute. <clears throat> so the wild the wild rice is already cooked. I just have to um, strain it out a little bit.
and let the fire have a little bit of air every once in a while. This way, the fire goes good, but if it comes from that way, it doesn't do so good. I have to go get some better firewood. Mm -hmm. I like it just as getting hot enough. If it takes a little longer, that's all. Might be even better. Okay, so we're just gonna grab a piece of fish, throw it in. Shake it up. I kind of like shake and bake. I kind of like shake and bake. I'm not quite there yet. Now it's starting to sizzle.
I like this here bag because it's resealable and it says fish crisp so I know exactly what it is. It's my fish batter. This goes in the garbage pile, garbage bag. really fast. I forgot my plate. boil but let me try my supper I did get some I think I got some salt and peppers in here too Yeah, I bought a brought a bunch of these things. The wind blows halfway. Those half my pepper away. How do you like that? Take my glasses off so you can see what I'm eating. Put them down here for now. Okay, there's my supper. And the sun came out too. Sun came out.
I'm going to be going wild racing this winter or this fall again. That's where I went and got this wild race. I went out to a lake. Took a canoe. I don't really have to salt my fish because there's plenty of spices in that little mix I got. more drinks left. Good. Nice container. Water. Water bottle. Good stuff. I should have started my tea first. I think I did. I just didn't put it on the fire. As soon as the bugs, <clears throat> as soon as the sun came out, all those bugs disappeared. There was a big swarm of mosquitoes here earlier.
watching a bird fly around over there. It looks like it's an eagle. <clears throat> but it's a little too far for me to see. If it flies like an eagle, if it acts like an eagle, it's probably an eagle. coming closer. It's going to come and grab that fish. I put on a rock over there. Nope, it's not an eagle. Turkey buzzard. I can see his wings now. <clears throat> it acts like a turkey buzzard. It might be a turkey buzzard. I grab the last piece of fish again. Campfire tea, that's what that's called.
down to my last piece of fish. I think it's Sunday night. I think I'll shut you off now. <clears throat> Just gonna sit back and drink tea. Then I gotta do the dishes. Do the cleanup. Yep, that's what I'll do. So I, uh, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update. It is um, 8.34 p.m. Sunday night. Um, the sun is almost going down. <clears throat> this lake is a very, is a pretty big lake. It's a, uh, I've been all over it. I spent quite a bit of time out here on, out on the lake. Um, 
it's not very good for fishing. I think there's only bass in this lake. And that's pretty much all I caught. So uh, <clears throat> I don't think I'll be coming back here again. But it was really nice to come out here. Um, the fishing just not that good. So I don't think I'll be coming back here. Um, I've been out here for two days now. This is my second night. Um, I think it was pretty pretty successful because I was able to to do a little camping, and it wasn't. We were lucky we didn't get no rain or anything like that, and the weather's been pretty decent. Um, it's not real too windy. A little bit in the windy in the afternoon, but most of the time it's it's pretty decent. So I can't ask for better weather. The weather actually worked out for me this this uh, trip. Um, <clears throat> The other thing I wanted to mention was that uh, I'm going to be breaking down camp after breakfast in the morning. You already seen me cook breakfast, so I don't need to record that again. The same breakfast is this morning. So I'm going to be cooking breakfast and have my coffee as usual. And then I'm probably going to be tearing down camp. And then um, depending on the time, I might step into another lake just to go fishing, which I'm not going to record. But uh, I, I may have time to do that. Um, so this is probably going to be our last, uh, our, our closing part. Um, I think I want to close with the sunset again. I did put the drone out for a little while, but the sun is still up quite a bit yet. So I think I did one sunset with the, with the, the GoPro and one, one with the drone. But the sun is still up right now. So <clears throat> I don't know if I'll do that. But it's been a really, really awesome weekend. Um, yeah, I definitely want to do this again. Um, maybe at a different lake or a better lake. Um, but you never know what kind of what kind of lake you're going to go into when you when you're going to a lake. You never know. So uh, definitely a good adventure. And the thing about it is that we are out in the middle of nowhere. Like I mean, literally, there's there's nobody around. Uh, the highway is probably close to. Uh, maybe eight or 10 miles away just to get to the highway. And then we're still quite a bit north of Fort Francis. We're probably about 60 to 70 miles north of Fort Francis and maybe, um, I don't even know how far to drive, but uh, it's been a really good trip. And I'm just going to give you another shot of the sunset and say, I hope you liked the video. I hope I hope that you uh, you enjoyed the video and that uh, you continue watching some of my videos in the future. And the bugs are kind of bitey tonight. Some of them are. I got bit a couple times. There is your sunset. I'll just let the camera run out and we'll let you uh, watch the sun.
Good morning. I think it's Monday, May 5th or 6th, I think. I don't know, it's on it's the third third day anyway. So we're gonna have a coffee this morning, make my breakfast, and then uh we're going to head back out on the lake and head back home. Head back out on the highway. Say goodbye to this beautiful place. It is so calm right now, this morning. It's actually chilly. Because we're on the... the west side of the island the sun is is up but it's not up high enough to get over the trees Let's see if I can show you that yeah it's coming right there but it's not high enough to uh, be over the trees or so we're kind of sitting in the shade here but it does sound like the coffee is brewing let's see what it looks like Oh yeah, looks good. So we'll just put that back on this end, this side over here. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna have my cup of coffee, and um, I'll probably do one more little short clip when we get to the landing. Since I'm running out of batteries. Okay, so I just wanted to say, um, I'm going to say goodbye to Little Rock Island here, right below, below, behind me, Little Rock Island, and then say goodbye to the lake, we'll see you again someday, maybe, and uh, just going to run over to the here. We're going uphill right now, that's why it looks like it's... Yeah, right here is our campsite. Doesn't even look like I've been here. But that's where the tent was set up. Nice and cleared out, doesn't even look like I was here. So we got the boat packed up. And we are ready to jump in the boat. So just want to show you the east side. We're gonna head out that way and head back to the landing. And uh hope you like the video. Please watch. Like and subscribe, share if you want, I don't mind, but uh, we'll see you again on our next adventure. Adios!